pitch. Yes, it's a very, very good pitch indeed. And if they don't make at least 300 in the first dig, then really we have batted pretty badly on there. I think that's fair to say. Right. Good evening. Welcome to the highlights of this fourth day's play of the Cornhill Test Match at Lord's. A day that began with England in trouble. Sri Lanka 491 for seven and in reply, England 139 for two. The batsman out on Saturday in uh, what was a very slow afternoon's play. Fowler for 25 and Tavare for 14. Broad is 69, Gower 16. And the match situation is that England begin the day 352 runs behind. Now they need to go out there today and uh, bat with considerably more confidence than they did on Saturday. We start proceedings now in the very first over. Benoth and John is the bowler and David Gow, the skipper, is taking strike. Two to Gow. Robbie Ratnaik, the man down at long leg. Fielder at gully is uh, Marlon von Hart. Two slips, um, Matagula is at second and Vedamuni at first. <laughs> Mel is at uh, deep third man. Beautiful footwork here. Back foot right across there. Perfect square cut. It's good cricket. The judge run. Last ball at the over. Gower started off um, a little bit creakily, although he'd had uh, quite a decent go in the nets this morning, but he's just starting to look to be in form. Be a lovely addition to this match if uh, he were to make a hundred and run himself right back into form. Diaz de Silva was the fielder and he moved after that uh, well enough. In fact, he's limping more in the slower paces going back to the starting stalls than uh, when he was chasing it. Short, pulled away in great style by Gar. Fine shot there. Lovely shot from David Gar. Very short. Beautifully balanced. Stone. Just pulled up by Rutnick, but the three runs there. Still another one, two, six required to serve the follow-on. Uh, should be accomplished without any real bother. It's not quite time, but he's found the gap. That's the useful thing about it.
That's made for the shot, and uh, Garrison on to uh, finally put it away. Yes, beautiful shot, this. Gower on 40 now. Another one for him to a stroke away. It is well on the offside. And uh, Ratnaika really has got to give it a fuller length. That's a better shot. Can't find the right length there. Short ones followed by half volley, and uh, Chris Broad doing everything right there. Foot to the pitch of the ball, found the gap quite beautifully. Certainly the best shot Chris has Broad has played in this innings. Lovely straight drive that. Beautiful cut shot. Back for three here. Here's a nice cut there, just behind point. The ball running away for three, and uh, certainly if we're going to be entertained today, there's nobody better than David Gower to do it. Shot Ball on the up. That's the strength of uh, Chris Broad. He's been waiting for something round about Legstone. Should be three more here for him. Yes, Chris Bird might miss a few just outside off stump, but uh, he doesn't miss too many on that leg and middle leg stump, and he dispatched that as usual through mid wicket very well indeed. Oh, that's a great catch. That's one he'll remember for a long, long time. The middle has taken the wicket, and a magnificent catch by Amal Silva. Broad is gone. It was just a bit wide, was this, and it went a bit wider still. And uh, I imagine Chris Broad will be a bit disappointed there, uh, missing 100, getting out to delivery like that, but certainly a very fine catch. Indeed it was. He had a long way to go. He's been doing his exercises out there this morning, young uh, Amal Silva, just like Alan Knott. And I think Knott, he would have been proud to take a catch of that quality. And Chris Broad out for 86. Caught Silver Bold DeMille. 190 for three now, with Gower having gone on to 46. Gower goes to 50. He was 16 when he started this morning. He's played some very good looking strokes. 197 for three with Gower 50 and Lamb 2. Nice shot by Alan Lamb. That's a confidence builder as far as he's concerned. Sri Lankan supporters out there, quite lively with their voices this morning. What a nice shot. That's lovely timing from Garrett. Won't go for four, but uh, a beautiful piece of batting. And some nice shots there from David Gower to be 55 not out at lunch. Alan Lamb, 10. He hasn't really started to play strokes yet, but Gower was looking to be in pretty good form. 210 for three, 
at lunch England and looking very much better today than they did on Saturday. They have a problem though because straight after lunch the new ball will probably be taken by the skipper of Sri Lanka, Dulip Mendes. No runs have been scored when David Gower took strike in the second over after lunch. The bowler is the Santa de Mel. Bit of a lackadaisical shot there after lunch by David Gower. That's well bowled and beautifully caught. Off goes Gower, another catch for the keeper. A very good delivery there from DeMille. A little bit of movement, just catching the outside edge, and that's a very early and good break for Sri Lanka. 210 for four with the England skipper gone for 55. And what a good delivery. Straight after lunch, that one going across David Gower, just up the hill, and hitting quite high on the bat. Well, here's Ian Burton. And getting uh, extremely good reception from this uh, bank holiday crowd. And if uh, Sri Lanka could get rid of both of them here early, they would really be on top of the world. That's DeMille to bowl to him. And he savaged that away, straight away. Short one, four runs. with the sub there, taking a magnificent catch in the gully. And he looks completely perplexed about it. 2.18 for five. What an afternoon this has been for Sri Lanka so far. Gower and Botham in quick succession. Botham gone for six. In fact, this is a good delivery. You can see that's opened Ian Botham out. And a fine catch in the gully. But uh, that ball went up the hill. Ian Botham playing it down on the leg side. Yeah, and a superb catch. down as a, a chance, a very difficult one there, with uh, Ellison on the mark. It's a good shot, four runs, nice half folly on the leg stump, that was the uh, shot of a good player that. here, just flicked away again off his legs, that's the uh, shorter of the two boundaries and uh, good work out there by Ronatunga flicking it back for Ratnaika he too has stroked it away very convincingly that's good four runs and uh, Big John just losing a little in length and direction in that over. Found the gap this time very safely, very surely for four runs.
And Alan Lamb really beginning to show his class. It wasn't really a half volley. He just pushed very firmly through the line of the ball. Timed it perfectly. Great disappointedness for Sri Lanka. Alan Lamb driving there. And really speaking, I think you've got to say that was first, first slip's catch. Good shot. Ellison's played some really good looking strokes out there. Down on the boundary, so uh, Ratnaika, three to Ellison. That's through, rather before us. Ball struck with uh, any sort of uh, power over there, beating the fielder. Set to go for four down to that top of boundary. Flighted that, give it a bit more air, and it's beautifully struck right in mid on by Ellison. Long choice there for Dulit Mendes, but all to no avail. This is a fine shot. Slightly slower ball, but he got in very good position and hit it through mid wicket there with perfect timing to the longest part of the ground. And it's not an eye good a ball to Ellison. That's a single which will save uh, any worries about a follow on. So applause for England 292 for five, they are. And the follow on has been safely avoided. That's it. Safely away. We'll come back for two and make it into three. Well, a good accomplished innings from uh, Alan Lamb. He goes on to uh, 52 now. Out of England, total of 295 for five. Is a lamp. Put that away down to uh, third man with two in this to bring up 300 for England. So 305 always looks a pretty good score, but uh, facing something near a 500, there's still a long way to go. That's a splendid partnership between Alan Lamb and Richard Ellison. Lamb 55 not out and Ellison 37. I was very impressed with Ellison there, even though he was missed once, he showed good temperament. It was most necessary that he stay there with Lamb until that follow-on chance was averted. 300 for five, then we pick up play in the second over after tea. The bowler is leg spinner Diaz de Silva, five runs have been added, and taking strike is Richard Ellison. In the air. Safely held, but that takes the catch. The silver, the wicket, it's his second, and Ellison has gone for 41. And the silver thoroughly deserved that. He's giving Ellison the chance with the slower, higher toss delivery. Caught Ratnayak a bowl to silver, 41. Chase there for Mumtaz Yusuf, the 12th man. First time he's touched the ball and it has to be retrieved from the boundary. He's a guy in very pensive, thoughtful mood there. Felt a little sorry for him today. He was going quite well. Touch of the old guard till he got out. 
So, uh, refreshed, here comes De Mal. Short and hooked away. Great shot this by Guy. Six runs by Guy by Lamb, of course. First six of the England innings, taking a long time in coming, but it was a beautiful shot. Mid-wicket, and it's 3.54 for second. I think you've got that gym without any trouble, but uh, he was trying to pick it up over mid-wicket and uh, didn't quite hit high enough at the bat. It's a little bit at the bottom of the bat and uh, just lobbed into mid-wicket's hands. It's Paul Allett on his way out at 3.54 for second. Instead of forward, and uh, over they went for North first ball. 354 for eight now. Demel the figures there 402 in 33, and that's pretty good bowling on this wicket. And three slips, a couple of short legs, Selimid off, hat trick ball, Demel to Pocock. And applause for the bowler, relief all round. And uh, four wickets now for Demel. Two coming in that over, four for 102, off 34 overs. 354 for eight. And he's off the mark. Well, Alan Lamb has managed to stay with him whilst that's been achieved. his fourth century of the season in six test matches and that is a terrific performance and Roy Dias has caught Alan Lamb at mid-wicket the North and John has just run up and loosened up with one that pitched not quite in his own half but thereabouts and the first hit Alan Lamb has had with Pat Pocock's bat has gone straight down Roy Dias's throat Shout came for yes, he's given Pocock out. Umpire David Evans, great catch, no question it carried, although it was uh, a close thing. Well, Pat Pocock might have waited there for a bit, but uh, umpire David Evans and uh, men at square leg Harold Bird had uh, absolutely no doubt about that dismissal. Well, who would have thought at the end of the fourth day of this Cornhill Test match that Sri Lanka? would have a lead of 121 runs over the great England side. They've been playing cricket for a long time over here at test match level. Sri Lanka's first test match in this country and they made 491 for seven and bowled out England for 370. 107 to Alan Lamb, a super innings that. Quite different from the 300s he made against the West Indies. Ellison played really well. 
Downton stuck around for a while and Pocock got off the mark. And for Percy Pocock, the very popular Surrey off-spin bowler, that was a great moment. 370 and some splendid performances there from the Sri Lanka bowlers. DeMille, 4 for 110, John, 4 for 98, and Diaz de Silva, the leg spinner, 2 for 85. And that gives Sri Lanka an overall lead of 121 runs. A tremendous performance from them. And once again, everyone in Sri Lanka can be completely proud of the way they've played their cricket, whether it's uh, with their batting, bowling, or in the field, where occasionally they were quite superb today. Alan Lamb was the star for England. They needed a big innings from him once David Gower had gone, and he played really well. And he talked just after the match with Peter West. Alan, well played yet again. Four hundreds in five test matches makes a pretty good summer. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad. Uh, you know, getting four in the summer, really. I started off the sort of season as uh, fighting for my place off the miserable winter tour. But it's uh, always nice to come back and sort of... Uh, show the critics I can do it. Yes, that's right, because come the Lord's Test match and the second innings, and I think the media were suggesting that uh, you might be in trouble holding yes. on to your place. <laughs> they wanted my head to roll, so uh, I had to really get 100 in the Lord's Test match, um, which I did, and bowled my place and sort of uh, had success from there onwards. How do you contrast those 300s in uh, the fire and the brimstone of the West Indies compared with uh, the more tranquil surroundings of the Sri Lankan Test match? Well, there's a big difference. It's just, it's such a slow wicket out there. And, um, you know, just to get your timing, if they, you know, if they don't, if you don't get a half volley, it's very difficult to get it off the square there. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep on fighting and, you know, just take the ones and twos when you can get them, hit the bad ball for four. Is it getting lower and slower? Yes, I think it's probably the slowest test wicket I've played on. On the other hand, if you keep your patience and concentration, uh, ought to be a lot of runs in it. Well, yes, I th you know, it's long innings as you've got to play there. Um, you know, if they don't bowl any bad balls, it's, it's a lot of hard work out there and uh, you've just got to fight on. What about tomorrow? What do you think is going to happen then, Alan? Well, I think uh, they'll be batting tomorrow. <laughs> um, anything, really. I, you know, on that week, I can't see us bowling them out again. So it looks like we've got a long day in the field again. <laughs> when you go to bed tonight, will you be careful the way you pull the curtains? Certainly. I won't get up too early this time. What exactly happened? No, I just got up um, on uh, Saturday morning, uh, about sort of six o'clock, and there was some light coming into the room, and I just wanted to close the curtain. And uh, I just sort of stuck my left hand up and uh, pulled on the curtain, closed it, and uh, I went in the neck. It's very funny, really. Well, they might have to start wearing a helmet to bed just to safeguard all those things. They seem to wear them everywhere else these days. At any rate, Alan Lamb was certainly the star of the proceedings out there today. Batted really well, played some lovely strokes and showed his usual sound temperament when England was struggling very, very hard to try and avoid that follow-on. We leave you now with the magic moment for him when again he reached three figures. leave you now with the magic moment for him when again he reached three figures. It's been